Hello YouTube, part 5, and we're at Firelink Shrine. So, I've just been to the Firekeeper, got my Estus Flask, if you look in the bottom left, to plus one. And lucky lucky, it is him. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. I am grateful to you. <laughs> Not enough for you. <laughs> right, now, what we're going to do... Is we're gonna just gonna kick. Wait, no, not punch. And kick. And kick. And kick until he goes off that cliff. Oh. Now what have we here? Hell yeah! He did! Right, so now that that's done, we now need to, well, first things first, we need to save and quit, because we need the FAP ring. Uh, that's also known as the Ring of Favor and Protection. It's a very useful ring, because it gives us uh, extra defense, extra stamina, and extra health. But you can't take it off, which, to be fair... I'm not going to replace it. The rings I generally tend to be u using is Havels and the Fap Ring. Um, I'm not sure if there's a ring that boosts miracles. If, even if there is, I doubt I'll be using it. Okay, so look, now you can see there's an item where he was sitting. Five Humanity. For a ring of favour and protection. We slap that on. And look at that, bonus health. Can we level up? Nope, we need 3,600 souls now to level. Um, so now we're going to go back to the Undead Parish to unlock that extra thing and join the Sunlight Covenant. Because we get an extra miracle from it. The Sunlight Spear. Oh, this lift takes forever. Right, here we go. Now we're going to try and sneak up on one of them, and then fighting two of them shouldn't be that hard, in theory. Just a bit like that. Oh, what? He healed. Alright, let's take out him, because he's weaker. Oh, damn. God damn it! Right, that's one down. That could have been a bit backstab potentially. Oh no 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 no! Oh, should not have done that. Uh-oh. No. Yeah! The 
sun is on our side. At least I bloody hope it is. Halberd, not bad. Basement key. We need that one. Because that's where we'll be going next. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, backstab. Attempting to sneaky, sneak, sneak. And a backstab. Now we ain't even going to bother trying attempting it, we're just going to sprint. That was stupid though. Oh god damn it! Oh! Follow soldier shield. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with you. Rest of the bonfire. And now we can pray. The requirement was 25, but each time you help someone beat a boss, uh, it goes down by 5. So, we can praise the sun. And we can enter the Covenant. And we also get the Miracle. Not bad, eh? Look at that. So, just so you can get a rough idea of how awesome it is. Ow, I missed. How dreadful. Let's just, yeah, it puts them down like they're nothing. It's awesome. Deals with Balder Knights in like the nothing as well. I missed. Jesus Christ, I love this lightning spear. Never used it properly before. Ever. gonna compare the shields because uh, it weighs less so for now it's gonna be the one because it, it, it does block a hundred percent of um, as you can see, physical 100, that's 100% block, and then it blocks 65 fire and 50 lightning, which would have been useful.
Well, folks, that was just... Well, you know what? Mm. Fuck it. Let's go get the other Firekeeper Soul. This one is almost a guaranteed kamikaze run. I say almost, because it is doable. I know uh, Dragon Cannon's done it. light roll so it should be helpful. Oh, while we're here, we might as well talk to the blacksmith. Probably the earliest blacksmith you can get. He's not very good though. Hmm? Well this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? That? Hmm? Have you? It's safe here. Although, I must admit, I've not much to... How about this? I could forge your weapons. Albeit with rather minimal tools. So, yeah. He sells magic. Come back soon. Great for a sorcerer who's starting out early, but um, not too great. There's no point wasting it because we're going to have to come down here later for the Four Kings. It does seem to be a bit of a lag. Or a frame drop anyway. Right, I am going to try and kill him. Miracles don't do shit. So, we've just got to carefully walk all the way over grab the item and somehow walk back like I said it's not guaranteed suicide if you survive you get bonus points in your own mind but Sometimes you can just kill yourself to get an item because you keep the item. Well, providing you get the item, that is. Um, but you get to keep the item and it takes you to the bonfire anyway. That would have been embarrassing if he killed me. Right, so we just got a stow, which is a rapier. I'll, I'll equip it while on our way. I don't have the right stats but as you can see it's a pretty good weapon well it's not really good it's just a rapier like the boulder knights have um, as you can see I need more dexterity to be able to use it properly otherwise it'll just bounce off enemies The reason you kill um, Law Trek because there's a lot of theories going around. One says that he wants to talk to her, but because she just cannot speak. Um, now we've got plus two Estus Flask, but because she cannot speak, she didn't speak to him, so he got annoyed and killed her, stealing her Firekeeper soul. When a Firekeeper dies near a 
bonfire, the bonfire goes out. Not good. But thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for part 6 where we go underground and we will experience a major major frame drop at some point. Not looking forward to that.